Hello everyone and welcome back to Burner Brother Antiques. Today is a Friday. So post auction day, we've had a lot of pickups and we're shipping with the UPS right now or we're pulling for UPS to ship. So that's what's up so far, but let me take you along for the rest of the day. All right, folks, so I'm gonna go take you up front up front and look at some sold bins because you guys don't want to see what i do i just sit in front of the computer and type away so let's go up front and look at some sold bins and maybe look at a booth or two we'll see okay everyone so i decided to come show you some sold bins which this is a really cool so cool sold bin we have 168 dollars adam athens coffee pot and look at all this work it's not really like flow blue it's like a flow black but really pretty and over here we have a Moorcroft bowl which i just checked the price it was 200 dollars on the offer and it was accepted no no i'm sorry 200 dollars offer and it was counter offered at 250 which we'll see if they buy it and over here we have a flow blue bowl which is 39 dollars very pretty uh sorry it's a plate not a bowl but it's a gilt trim that's just a really cool sold bin over here Okay, so this is pretty interesting. $225 for all these arrowheads. Oh, there's so many. You know, my Opa would actually look in the fields around us for arrowheads, and I'm sure, I know he would find some actually. And then another $45 for that big arrowhead, as well as $45 for another big arrowhead. And then, that's funny, we got like a little Japanese toy back here. Let me see. Uh. Plastic bear on bike, $35. That's a pretty cute one, isn't it? Kind of reminds me of yogurt. Over here, we have some pink glass, a sherbet and plate. Uh, $14 on this pink glass, and then another $22. This one's a little bigger, so it makes sense. And then $10 on that sherbet, cute little sherbet. And then over here, we got an elephant figure. It's like a soapstone or something for $10. And a pair, are these glass? What are these? Uh carnival glass candlesticks for $69 those are interesting and then of course Halloween decorating um, price is $10 on that decoration and over this is kind of Halloweeny what is it like fiesta wear something along that line bistro uh, $14 and 91 cents now if I bring you right over here we have a little art glass coyote or a little glass coyote six dollars and then um, a little house house bottle oh, i can't flip over on the tag um eight dollars that's pretty cool it's a bottle right there so somebody was shopping in herbs i can tell because he always tapes his uh sold tags on or his tags onto the items but this is a 12 dollar sledgehammer right here big sledgehammer for 12 dollars as well as well if i can get it out because the sledgehammer's on top we got a 20 dollar um gosh why can't i think what this is um USA tool. Why can I not think what this is called? It's a socket, isn't it? And this piggy bank is cute. One heck, one heck of a piggy. Uh, vintage piggy bank, $14. There's the bottom. Still has the cork and it has a little mark on it. Um, is that a PMT? I wonder if that's whoever made it, but $14 right there. So down here, we have a little trinket box over here. That looks like it'd be Japanese or something like that and it's in there for $35, cute little trinket box. And this thing is stunning quality. It was priced at 105, but offered 85 and it was sold. It looks like it'd be Murano or something. It's a book and pair. And whoever this is loves their pairs because there's another art glass pair and another one back there. This one's priced out at $15 and I'm sure this one's pretty similar to that one, $12. And then you have a little, what's the red bird wisdom? glass cardinal signed $18 there it is as well as like a little pottery cardinal back here $12 on that one um and then you have some lemon squeezers $5 on that light one over there a reamer not lemon squeezer and then $15 on this little jar as well as another reamer priced out at $10 over here, we have an amazing, I love quilts. They're so warm and soft and comfy. This one's priced out at $125. I, yeah, it's just super cool. I love those. So this is an interesting one. It's a slag glass, purple slag glass bar glass at $32. Um, and then over here, we have drag racing, like a little magazine at $5, as well as some pottery. 
is this glass? This is slide glass, isn't it? Um, milk's milk slide glass at forty-five dollars. That's a big cup right there. That's cool. And what what is this? A uh, vintage CNC auto parts ashtray. Oh, it's an ashtray for twenty dollars right there. Over here we have quite the impressive collection of um, Chinese, I, I believe all Asian pieces. This is a $110 bowl. And then over here we have a little trinket box that's priced out at $685 event. What is it? Sterling, oh that's sterling with all the stones. That's beautiful right there. As well as this small vase right here at 485 a little porcelain small vase antique and then a mystery ball this one's at $95 I think they're called mystery balls right puzzle ball $95 okay so in here whoops missing it we have a little Wade figure Christmas tree at $4 and then we have a brass mouthpiece for $12.50 uh, and then a UK pins at $10 on the set so that's all this little bin for now, but I have something else in stock for you guys. <laughs> Janet here. I'm gonna go show you guys that booth I showed you guys last week, but they filled up quite a bit more. Okay, so I know I showed you guys this booth last week, but they have just been keep, or they won't stop filling it up with more stuff. So it's a lot more full now than it was last time. Okay, so on this top shelf, we have a Fenton vase and that's at $109. That's a beautiful color. I love that color. A little cat picture here on the tail. A little tag hanging on the tail at $29. Or is that a pig, not a cat? Whoops. Um, okay, I have to see what this fish is priced out at. This guy is impressive. A little pottery fish and no, I can't see it. Okay, one second, I'll try and figure it out. Oh, put that back up there. So that little pottery fish is priced at $24 and it says it's actually a lamp face or lamp base. So yep, there's a hole up there where you put your lamp through and then this little wood carved uh, pelican is $12.50. This looks like B&G or something like that. Swedish controlled, but oh, that's, that's glass? I thought that was porcelain. $59, wow, okay like a Tanala looking bird over here. Um, $40 on the ceramic bird. That's a really cool one. I like that owl. That's really pretty. Um, and then there's the rest of the top shelf. Come down here, you have more of the similar type of stuff. Some glass, ceramics, pottery, Fenton. I showed you guys this piece already. Oh, I, I think I showed you the cat too, but $26 on the cute cat. Japanese floral co cobalt blue vase. I love that. I love the or, or um, the floral scene on these vases. Down here, I think this picture is new. Now I know it's not Moorcroft, but it just has that same blue color to it. It's fifteen dollars. Really cool vase. Got some Tupperware over here. Twelve dollars ninety nine cents on the big one, and same on the small one, but it has a lid. Up here, it looks like some carnival glass for fourteen dollars. A big old canister. Um, I'm sure that'll be the same $14. Then we got a little fish at $34.50, a koi fish vase. And then we have a native lady sitting here. She is $79.99. So I'm not sure if I showed you guys this Coca-Cola hanging light right here, but $179 on this chandelier. And look how cool that is. Coca-Cola art glass or leaded glass, I guess, chandelier. And over here, we have a Porsche mug. This is nothing crazy, but it's just cool to me because a Porsche 911 is like my favorite car ever. And that's just super cool to me. All right, guys. So I know this is a short one, but that is the end of the show today. Actually, let me show you just some of these highlights from uh, the Burns.com sale in two weeks. Oh, Lotes over here. Lotes. Nancy Dom, I believe. And then this is Lotes as well. And then Rookwood, Rookwood, uh, I believe that's that's Czech up here. And just so many, Mount Joy right here. That looks like Moser. So many amazing items we're going to be selling in two weeks. Just an exciting sale. I can't wait for it. Um, hopefully, maybe some of you guys can pick up a piece or two. And look at that Lotes vase right there. Just exciting. But thank you all for watching. And make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment so we can all read them. And have a good day.